So it's been a really long time since I made a video. It hasn't been since TBR Pio video because that video took me a long time to do and then slowly March started becoming incredibly crazy. I had finals and I had a conference that I was going to and I had to put work in and I had to like make sure my pieces were all done so that is essentially why I haven't been reading and why I haven't been making videos because that was like crazy time. This is essentially my update for my read 7 by whatever I want. So basically since the last time I've updated you on this little project that I have going on, I have read another 7 books and I'm going to show you them because I haven't been up to date with my reviewing and I will, I will get back up to date, I swear I will. In this month, April is going to be my catch up month and hopefully you will be seeing reviews of all of these books that I'm going to show you. So, book number eight was The Duff by Cody Keplinger. I have a lot of things to say about this book and you will definitely be getting a whole video just on this book alone. Book number nine was The Wicked and the Divine by Glenn McCleave and Wilson Coles. I will probably be doing a graphic novel wrap up, which will be like a couple of different things, so look forward to that one. Book number 10 was Ignite by Lily Paradis. This is an ebook, and I have like so many things to say about this book. I could probably make like a 10 minute video just, just talking about everything that I hated about this book. So look forward to a ranty video because I, I still have so many fucking problems with this book. Then to lighten my mood more after reading that terrible book, I decided to pick up Sex Criminals Volume 2 by Matt Fraction and Chip Zdarsky. Really good, really enjoyed it, and you will be definitely hearing some great things that I thought about in this one. And then after that, I got into like kind of like a slumpy mood. I was very just like very into watching Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. I'm on my fourth rewatch right now. I ended up picking up Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. Really enjoyed this. I have some problems with it. I, ha I did like most of it, but I did have some problems with it. And you will be hearing more about that in another video. And then after that, my wonderful co-worker Christine let me borrow her first three issues of Bitch Planet. I have a picture of it up on Instagram. Go follow me. Shameless plug. I have so many things to say about Bitch Planet and I just, I couldn't put them down. They're only issues so they're like 30 pages max and I just like, I devour them all in one sitting. I'll probably include these within my other graphic novels. And that actually totals 15 so I'm already like one step closer to my next buy. But at this point I had finished this just around the time that Half Price was having its 30, 40, 50% off like weekend thing and I obviously had to go for the 40% off and the 50% off so for 40% off I got another graphic design book and it's fingerprint, it's just really nice hardcover and everything inside of it is very well done. Like it's so much in inspiration I could gather from this book. And also on that trip I got Middle Sex by Jeff Eugenides. This was only a dollar and I couldn't not do it. And then for some reason I thought I really wanted this. Am I going to read it soon? Probably not, but it was something to have. And it is William Shakespeare's The Taming of the Shrew. This one matches the other Dover Thrift Editions novel that I have. It, it was like 99 cents and Oh, why not? And then on Sunday it was the 50% off and I was like, you have to go, I have to go, if I don't go it's like I'm wasting money. So I ended up getting this Murakami book. If it's going to be 50% off I need to buy a book that's really expensive. So I decided to get the color colorless, just, I don't know how to say this, but and his years of pilgrimage. But I am really excited about this, it's very pretty. Even without the dust jacket, it's beautiful and it's a little small, little small little book and it's really easy to carry around. So pretty. That's essentially what I've been up to. I also want to say thank you for 500 subscribers. Yeah, 500 is a really weird number and it's actually weird because April 1st, which is tomorrow for me, 
is when I decided that I was going to officially be a booktube channel, so it's essentially around the same time as my booktube anniversary, and that's pretty cool. And I just want to thank you guys because um, I didn't think I was going to get 500 subscribers at all because why? I don't know. I will see you guys really soon with a shitload of reviews because I'm really excited to make them and I'm really excited for you to see them. Okay, bye! You mean I don't like you